Now, two aspects to this question. First one is in Europe. Well, in Europe, the shape of the bottle is mostly a, a local, a regional tradition. Okay, so in, in Tuscany, you have the Fiasco. Here, you have in Alsace, La Flute. Uh, we all know the Champagne bottle. Uh, well, that's your burgundy shape right there. Um, this is your traditional Bordeaux bottle. Okay, in more recent wine countries throughout the New World, well, basically, people tend to have had adopted mostly, uh, well, the shape of bottle that came from the most prestigious uh, regions, which were the Burgundy bottle and the Bordeaux bottle, which is called the Frontignan uh, bottle here in France. Um, so, well, that's why you find, like here you have, for instance, this uh, Chilean bottle, well, it's exactly the same one as a uh, Bordeaux bottle. Now, uh, that being said, in France and in Europe, some regions, and even more precisely, some appellations regulate the shape of the bottle that you are to use. Okay, so if you're in Burgundy, you always use this. In Alsace, boom. In Champagne, boom. Some regions, though, not regulated. The Rhone, the Languedoc. If you take, for instance, here, uh, we have this burgundy shape of bottle here, even though this wine comes from the Loire Valley. Okay, so there, it's our, there are some things to learn about the shape of the bottle, mostly in Europe, but nothing systematic. And one thing you can um, not infer at all when it comes to, uh, well, from the shape of the bottle uh, is anything that has to do with the quality of the wine, nothing to do with the shape.